Well, praise God, it's Friday. Uh, I love Fridays because that means I'm that much closer to Sunday. Sunday's on the way. It's Sunday is on the way, praise God. Well, we're blessed to have you with us today and trust that you're having a great week. We do want to invite you to service uh, Sunday morning at uh, 10 o'clock. We do have an adult Bible class that meets at 845 they have an awesome time, so come if you, you like to discuss the Word. It's a great time uh, to be able to do that, but we have great uh, praise and worship. Minister, we minister to you through the Word and, and sometimes through the laying on of hands of ministering to you that way, so come and be a part of the service this Sunday. Amen. So we're go going to finish up today the last five things from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and it's talking about love never fails. And again, let me just reiterate right at the beginning, this is not your you loving them in your own. It is the, the love of God that is in your heart, that fills your heart and mind, that emanates from you. That's the only way that 1 Corinthians 13 can be um, fulfilled in our lives, Marcia. We cannot do it ourselves. You can't do it in yourself. No, it has to can't. be through the Spirit of the God that lives in Yeah, we're not talking about the flesh doing something here. We're talking about your spirit being your you're being led by your spirit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So here are the last five of those things. Number one, love bears all things. Love protects, love shields, love guards, love, love covers. God, uh, love conceals and it safeguard people from exposure. And that what do they mean, mean by that? By that, I think it means uh, those that you really love, you're going to pray for, you're going to encourage, you're going to cover them uh, with uh, your concern, let them know you love them and care about them. And love just never fails when you do those things. How about putting the word over them That's right. in our prayer? Speaking the word Speaking over them. the word into praying, their lives. Praying you know. and let them know what yeah. you've done. Let, yes. them, let people know. Amen. Number two is love believes all things. Love strains forward with all its might to believe the very best in every situation. Yes. Boy, I tell you, that's a, that's a, to me, that can be a hard one. If you have a history with someone and they let you down and you, it's hard to believe them. When they say. When they say, I'm going to do this or do that. Yeah. But you know what? Strain far and say, maybe this is the day they're yeah. able to do that. Yeah. You know, this you, is the day. Not maybe. Speak that over them. That yeah. kind of goes back to the first one. It does. You know, I was saying last uh, yesterday about how someone who you don't necessarily like and, and they become a Christian and then will and say, well, you know, I knew what they were like before. We'll just see if it how takes. How sincere they are. Let's They're see how sincere they are. They are. They really and I don't believe that's what this is. I believe I believe you should believe people, okay? Yeah. You Amen. know, in that. And and not have be negative. We yes. seem not negative. just about people, just about life in general. Situations. Are, yeah, yeah, situations. Yeah. Yeah. Lo, number three, love hopes all things. Love always expects and anticipates the best in others and the best for others. Oh, wow. And Don't I, you just love to be around people that are like I that? I do. I love that. I love to be around people like that. You know, that, they're positive. There's, yeah. They, you know, they don't, in every situation, yeah. yeah. They, they, they're the people that are glass half full. You know, you know? I think it's because the, many of those people, uh, they may be encouraging, or that's maybe they have the gift of, uh, their motivational gift is encouragement or uh, to be positive. Mm -hmm. I think that it, but you know what? Sometimes I think we allow our past to cause us to be negative. Yes, we do. And uh, if you come from a, a, a family that are, are around people that are negative all the time, you have to really work at that, not you to do. be negative yourself. Absolutely. Because we fall back into our Old soulish realm yep. and our fleshly realm. Yep. We need to be on the spiritual side, not that. Amen? Absolutely. Love endures all things. I love this one, Marcia, because love never quits. Right. You know, I believe the love of God in every person. I believe God extends his love to every person on the earth all the way to the very gates of hell. Amen. To the very gates of hell. God's not willing. He says, I'm not willing that any should perish, that all should come unto repentance. And then the last one is, again, love never fails. Love never disappoints, never fails, never lets anyone down. You know, I think that's where we need to get into unconditional love. 
You don't love people for what they do. Yeah. You love people because of who they are. They're God's children, or they're not God's children, but he wants them to be their his child. Yeah. So we need to love unconditionally, not because of what they do, but because of who they are. Yeah. And, and we understand that you can become disappointed sure. in people. People sometimes are the disappointment, you know, the things that they do. They can be mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. we have to believe that the love of God, I mean, oh, Jesus okay. did not not love people because they didn't like him. Or they you didn't know, treat him right. They didn't treat him right. talk yeah. about him. And... He, he didn't say, I want to die for everybody's sin except the Pharisees and the Sadducees that, you know, did not like me, that treated me that's wrong, right. you know. That's right. And that's what we have to do. The love of God, it is the love of God in and, and remind you, it is the love of God that we're talking about here in you that emanates from you. God bless you. We we'll hope to see you Sunday, all right? 10 o'clock. God bless.